Salmon and seagrass beds are essential for filtering our Gulf waters, and they provide food for manatees. Amanda Holly recently took a trip with the Southwest Florida Water Management District to see how they keep track of the seagrass in our area. Amanda? Yeah, with the help of an underwater drone, the district just released their latest survey of seagrass beds along the coast in Citrus, Hernando, and Pasco County. It was a perfect opportunity to go out with them and see what they're looking for and why it's so important. It was a chilly Florida day, but we made our way out to Anclote Key. The, this area has really remained remarkably stable. Dr. Chris Anastasio is the chief water quality scientist with the district and says the grass is quite sensitive to changes in water quality. We kind of consider them, um, you know, the old saying, the canary in the coal mine. So they're like the canary in the estuary. If we start to see negative trends, uh, disappearing seagrass, for example, then that's an indication that something's going on. The research starts high in the sky with aerial photography to map over 500,000 acres of seagrass in 11 counties. It's followed by an in-person visit to get a look with their own eyes. We track kind of you know, how the grass is looking, how it's filling in, and then how sparse or patchy. Like This is a continuous bed. The district has been mapping seagrass beds since the 80s, but recently they have new technology like underwater drones and virtual reality to help them verify aerial mapping. The underwater drone was really cool. Not only did we not have to get in the chilly water, but it's ideal for gathering data in deeper and darker waters off the coastline. You can see, you know, this grass is really thick and healthy. So the Springs Coast is doing really well. These results are then compared with previous year's surveys to determine how the seagrass beds are changing. Later this year, the results for the Tampa Bay region down through Charlotte Harbor will be released. The seagrass beds there have been on a rather significant decline since 2016 based on those surveys. It'll be interesting to see the results after the most recent red mm -hmm. tide in Tampa mm -hmm. and Sarasota Bay. So we'll yeah. be on the lookout for that. It's so cool to see the technology that they yes. have now to be able to do things like this. Yeah, year round, you know, it really makes the surveying uh, more efficient and it, it allows them to, you know, the drone, it can go, oh, it can track exactly where it's at so they get more efficient data. And of course, Very we want that cool. food for our manatees yes, for yes. sure. Definitely. All right, thanks, Amanda.